Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thanks for clicking on my video and I hope you subscribe so you don't miss any other future videos. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the Lisa Lacquer Fall Winter 2017 collection. It is a set of four creams that are gorgeous. Some of them are actually perfect for year round. I really enjoyed this collection. Lisa Lacquer is cruelty free, 100% vegan, non-toxic, 7 free and made in the US. Lisa was gracious enough to send me this collection for review and I am so grateful for that. Make sure to check out her website for any specials or sales going on at lisalacker.com. Now let's take a look at each one. First up is Millennial Pink and this is a light ballet pink cream. This baby was a little bit patchy and streaky on the first and second coat, so I did a full three coats to make this completely opaque. It is so gorgeous and stunning. It's like the perfect shade of pink that you can wear all year long. This is actually great for spring and for Easter that's right around the corner. I see myself wearing this polish often in the month of April. Coming up is Dulce de Leche, and this is a caramel mustardy yellow cream. This polish was so delicious and it's so perfect because Dulce de Leche is one of my favorite flavors ever. As you can see, it is super pigmented and was opaque in two easy coats. It's very buttery and smooth. I love this tone for any time during the year. It's so different. I love the way it looks on my medium skin tone. I'm definitely going to be wearing this throughout the year. Up next is Sweater Weather and this is a deep eggplant purple cream. Ooh, this one is so yummy and sultry. I love it. Super pigmented, very buttery and smooth, opaque in two easy coats. So if you don't already have a good eggplant dark purple, this one is your guy. And last but not least is Wine O'Clock, and this is a deep Merlot red cream. How vampy and chic is this? The formula was okay. It was a little bit patchy and streaky. I did two coats. I could have done a third to cover up some of the patchiness, but I actually like how it almost looks like a crelly. It has like a juicy squishiness to it. I really like it and it does totally reminds me of wine. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. My favorite out of this whole collection was definitely Dulce de Leche, but Millennial Pink is at a close second. I actually wore Millennial Pink a couple times before I filmed this and I got a lot of compliments. Don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know which one was your favorite. 